today's episode, we're going to show you how to set the valve latch on your motor. Now, this is a simple process, but it needs to be done quite often to make sure of the health of your motor. Before we get started, though, let's show you how they number the cylinders on a V8 engine. On a V8 engine, the cylinders are numbered uh, with the odd numbers on this side, the even numbers on this side, and the numbers start at the front of the car. So on my left front, starting right here, this is going to be cylinder number 1, 3, 5, and 7. This side is the even numbers, and it starts at the front. So it's going to go 2, 4, 6, and 8. We need to remove this air cleaner just to give us some space to work here. So I'm going to take the air cleaner off. And then replace it with my little dust hat so we don't get anything down in the carburetor. And then it's just a matter of getting the valve covers off both sides. My valve covers are held on with these 7 16 inch nuts, so we just have to take those off. We've taken the valve covers off. Brian's already got his stud girdle off. Let's take this one off. IMCA doesn't allow stud girdles, and I don't actually understand that. They're basically just a safety feature for the motor. <clears throat> In fact, last year, I took the stud girdle off that side over there, and one of the poly locks fell off because it had broken in half. If I hadn't had the stud girdle on the motor, the poly lock would have fell down in the valve train and it would have blown this brand new motor up. A little bit looser. With everything off that we need to take off, the next thing to do is get the motor set to top dead center, and we're going to do that using this little bump start button. You can get these at places like Harbor Freight, maybe even get them at Radio Shack. I use this because this allows me to bump the motor over in much smaller increments than just pressing the starter button. And you can do it with a starter button, but this makes the job a lot easier. All right, we're going to connect one side of the bump start button to a 12 volt power source, and the other where the start button connects to the solenoid. If you connect uh, between the two battery cables, it's going to fry your bump start. So be sure to connect where the start button goes to the solenoid. I've got my bump start button, and what we want to do is set the motor to top dead center. To do that, I'm just going to line up the pointer with the uh, zero mark on the balancer. There's a problem, though. It actually goes past zero twice. So you need to make sure uh, you actually get it to top dead center. One's top dead center and one's actually 180 degrees off. The way I tell is if you look at the rocker arms, right now the pointer's lined up at zero, but both my rocker arms are tight. That means I'm not at top dead center, I am off. I want both of these to be loose at zero and then I know I am at top dead center. So I'm going to take my start button, my bump start, and we're going to bump the motor over until I go all the way around to 180 degrees again. Okay, I line my marks back up. You see these two are loose. That means I'm at top dead center and I'm ready to start setting some valves. 